Hi there and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Now a bit of a follow-up from the video I did yesterday on the Dolphin Jet, the Hobby King Dolphin Jet. Now the EDF in that plane was incredibly loud and it was loud because it was so out of balance. Now I was doing a video for my XJet channel this morning on lathes and things. I thought well I'll just make up a little jig. I'll rebalance that fan unit but lost cause. The fan, the impeller itself is just so badly out of round you could never balance it. It must have been a dud, I don't know. Other people have said they haven't had the same problem but I always get the duds which is great because if something's going to be bad you'll know I'll tell you about it. So that fan unit completely useless. Now I know a lot of people are going to jump up and say well if you'd bought locally you'd get it replaced under warranty and yeah but hey it was a $65 plane or a $50 I don't know it was really really cheap plane I bought a lot of stuff from overseas China Hobby King and places like that and you get the duds occasionally now that fan if I keep that fan on the plane it's going to grenade it's going to blow and maybe crash and ruin the plane so I'm taking it off it's, there's no point in leaving it on there it is a completely useless fan unit absolutely rooted so too bad never mind still got the airframe and I'm going to do what I was, said I was going to do anyway. I put, the, I put a 70 millimeter fan on that plane, turn it into a real rocket. That's the only thing I can do with it. So, yeah, sorry about that. If you're buying one of these, be aware, maybe you'll get a dud too, that the, the EDF unit may be crook. Um, but I mean, you can buy a second hand one. What are they, 55 mil fan units? They're pretty cheap, not second hand. You can buy, you know, second aftermarket one. Buy a spare fan unit when you buy the plane, perhaps, I don't know. Um, hopefully the spare unit won't be as bad as the one that comes with the model, in my case. So there you go, what I'm going to do is put the, um, the 70 mil fan on that plane and we'll maiden it again, but not right now because there's no one else here but me. But uh, here's the video showing you what I found when I put the impeller on the lathe and tried to uh, true it up a bit. Yeah, not going to happen. Okay, I'm on the internal mic so the audio might be a bit different now, but look, I've just turned up this little shaft here which I want to slip the impeller onto and I'm starting to think this EDF may be a lost cause because if you see if I turn this on, see that spins perfectly concentric, it's perfectly, it's not bent, it's perfectly straight which is what you get when you turn something up on a lathe. So that's all perfectly fine, it's a very nice fit inside the impeller. So let's just slide the impeller on here, and as you can see that's a, there's no movement there, that's, uh, it's not sloppy in there at all. But let's turn the lathe on and let's have a look at the impeller. Look at the wobble on that. That's horrendous. And if you look at the front at the hole, you see the hole itself is, is perfectly axial here. Try and get this focused. I'll just go to manual focus to try and focus this for you. There you go. You can see the hole. I speed it up. The hole itself isn't wobbling. So that's perfectly aligned on the shaft. But if you look at the... Look at the blades here, focus again, look how that's wobbling, it's, you're never going to balance that, that will never balance as it is because it's just too far off centre, it's been moulded all wrong, it's crap, and how unfortunate is that? Um, yes, bit of a tragedy, I might have to fit another fan to that EDF, or just put this on and wait till it blows up, but that's terrible, oh, Chinese quality control strikes again, so yeah, I've read that, um, in my review of the Hobby King Dolphin, which had, this fan came out of, people said that they had them and they were okay. So I guess I just got a dud one. Um, then it must have fallen out before it was properly hardened and it's gone all skew with on me. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to balance this at all. I'll give it a go, but that run out is too, too bad. Okay, I thought I'd just see how much run out there was on this impeller. Now I've got a thing here called a dial indicator. Now this is just basically, has a little arm comes out the bottom and as that arm moves up and down it pushes that little dial around you see so if something's off center and you put it on the center line as it rotates it will move the little arm up and down and we'll be able to measure on this dial here what they call the run out and this is in millimeters because we work in metric here in New Zealand so what I'm going to do here is zoom in a little bit so you can get a better view hopefully there we go now I've got it set to zero so I'll turn the shaft here and watch the needle move it's dropped down that's one tenth two tenths three tenths there we go so about three tenths of a millimeter out of true now that doesn't sound like much three tenths of a millimeter gosh that's nothing but when something is spinning as fast as an impeller that tiny little bit of offset weight is enough to cause enormous amounts of vibration which is why when i looked at this fan one of the blades was actually quite short but that's the blade that looks like it was rubbing on the shroud you think why would a short blade which is lighter cause the shaft to bend in that direction when the shaft is spinning. And of course the reason is because the short blade is on the side of this impeller which is 
got excess weight because it's, it's off-center, it's eccentric. So the impala itself is just totally useless. It's really, really bad. I don't know what I'll do. Okay, the fan replacement electrically is really simple because it has the same bullet connectors as the original fan that was in there. So it was really easy just to plug the old one out and plug the new one in. And what I'm going to do though is measure the current because obviously if we're going to be drawing too much current, we'll have to change the speed controller as well with this bigger fan. Although I don't think we'll actually be drawing too much current because the motor in this fan is a lower KV than the motor in the other one. So let's go back to what here. Where are we? Select. Here we go. Right, so this is a what meter this will tell us. Oh, I better change the camera angle so you can actually see a bit better. Let's see if I can zoom in on this for you. No cameraman today. Uh, try and get the light, stop the light reflecting. There we go. Hopefully with HD we can see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is uh, try and juggle everything so you can see the screen. I'll hold the fan so it doesn't disappear. We'll rev it up and see how many amps we draw. There we go, 26 amps. And I suspect the speed controller here is probably 25, 30 amps. So we'll risk it. And there's actually quite a bit of thrust from this fan. Seems a lot more thrust than the little 55. Even though it's running at lower RPMs, it's a bigger area in the fan. So we're getting more thrust. It'll be interesting to see how this flies. So what I've got to do now, of course, is tilt the camera again for you so you can see what's going on. Oh, I must get a full-time cameraman. It'd be nice to be flight test, eh, with all that money do all the stuff full-time with people to help but I'm not so here we go yeah um, I'll have to change the foam around here so I can nestle this fan in there and then we'll take it for a fly see how it goes on three cells if it's a bit leisurely then I've got a bigger speed controller we'll change the speed controller and we'll put four cells in see what happens I'm quite liking this project more power